A Jacksonville firefighter is arrested and charged with domestic violence against his girlfriend. According to the St. John's County Sheriff's Office, 40-year-old Alan Hawk punched the woman in the face and then choked her until she passed out. Deputies say Hawk told them he didn't do it. News 4 Jax looked into the firefighter's past and found this is not the first time he's been involved in a domestic violence incident. Some people who know Hawk spoke with News 4 Jax reporter Ethan Calloway, who's joining us live from the Regency Fire Station where Hawk works. Ethan. Yeah, Mary Tom, we have confirmed that Hawk works here at Fire Station 30. JFRD has taken him off of field duty as they investigate what happened here. And some we spoke with today say they are really stunned by these allegations. The arrest report from the St. Johns County Sheriff's Office shows the incident happened around 9 Monday night. Investigators say Alan Hawk, an engineer with Jacksonville Fire Rescue, was drinking at his girlfriend's Julington Creek home. The report shows Hawk punched the woman in the face and strangled her until she passed out. When she regained consciousness, deputies say she went to her sister living nearby, who then took her to the local ER. When Hawk's girlfriend arrived here at the emergency room, the report shows she passed out again and had to be carried inside. When the deputy responded to make his report, he says he found evidence of what happened. That evidence included a swollen face, bruising around the eye, and red marks around the neck. News 4 Jax looked into Alan Hawk's past, finding a history of domestic violence. His ex-wife filed an injunction against him in 2015 after he assaulted her. The injunction claimed Hawk had a drinking problem and became violent when under the influence. He was later arrested for violating the injunction and was Baker acted after threatening suicide. He's a good firefighter, does his job very well, uh, and uh, seems to be a uh, you know someone you can trust uh, uh, as a firefighter to, uh, to to help you when you're in uh, when you're in trouble. Randy Wise is with the Jacksonville Association of Firefighters and worked with Hawk in the past. He tells us as a firefighter, Hawk was an upstanding professional, but says the allegations are troubling. Firefighters are held to a higher standard, so obviously that's a little bit more uh, uh, a little more scrutiny put on situations like this than probably any any other citizen out there that isn't uh, entrusted with uh, you know public safety. And Hawk has been with JFRD since 2004. The department tells me today they cannot comment on whether they did or did not know about any past issues with him. Hawk is being held today in the uh, St. John's County Jail on $3,500 bond. Live in Arlington, Ethan Calloway, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Ethan. And we want to remind you, if you are in an abusive situation, you need to get out. There are resources available to help you leave. You can call the Florida Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-500-1119. It's a statewide hotline open 24 hours a day.